Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you about multi-factor authentication. In this world where security is most important for any software, the multi-factor authentication is enabling us to fight with hackers. So what is the multi-factor authentication? First understand what is authentication. So I am a Facebook user, I logs into a Facebook. I use a for password like one thing, which is my password for authentication. Let's say if someone knows that password, he can literally, you know, go to the account with my ID and log in and do whatever he wants. So it is as simple as that. Same thing with his bank accounts and other stuff that if you have just one factor, which is your password and someone knows it, he can just, you know, impersonate you and do whatever they want. They can literally take control. So just to avoid that, we have added the additional security measures by means of multi-factor authentication so you will have more authentication factors apart from password so uh, let's assume i enter a password and then it asks me for something more and if i am hacker for example i know your password and i'm just using password and i'm stuck because i don't know the other factors like it might ask me for the date of birth or your birthplace or maybe the location or something else. So there are several other password, one including the phone pin. Like apart from password, if they add something like the phone pin, then I, I cannot even log in, right? Even though I know your password. So it makes the system secure. So let's go, what are the other ways of authentication? So first is um, apart from password, password is factor one. The second password could be your knowledge factor. This means that it can ask you for a phone pin or, uh, you know, some RSA pin or something like that. Or it can ask for uh, uh, when you got married or your birthplace or something which you know about yourself. So that is called as the knowledge factor. Apart from normal password, you might have the second factor for authentication is knowledge factor. Second most important is inheritance factor. So what does it mean that it will use for your biological trait like your fingerprint? So you enter a password, then you enter your fingerprint. So if someone, you know, is um, able to fool around the system with something like he uses your face mask for face recognition, still he might not know the password. So we have two layers of security here. You know what I mean, right? So it might do the retina scan for your eyes. It can do your fingerprints. It can do your facial recognition or something else. So this is one factor. Another important factor is position factor, which means, for example, you know, it can ask you to swipe something, some sensor, or it can give you a particular RSA device or something. So by virtue of the device, or some physical key. So you should know your password. You should also have a physical key or something by which you would be allowed to gain the access of a system or a facility. So that is another factor. Then comes the location factor. Usually I log in from US, San Antonio, Austin, whatever. But if uh, all of a sudden system detects that the location is not the same, it's Pakistan or Russia or China, it should block the login because that's where, you know, if some other location than your usual location, it should protect you. So that factor is location factor. And then most important uh, is the time factor. So by using artificial intelligence, people would know usually by what time I'm logging in and logging out. So if there is some unusual logging attempt at unusual time, the login should be blocked. And second thing, especially if it's a bank and there are some banking hours. So if uh, as an employee, I'm logging in at a particular time and then it's something weird time out of the range, then login should be avoided. So this thing is called as time factor. So I am able to logging in with my password and other factors the time factor authentication enables a particular window of time wherein I can log in. So I hope you have learned a very good security, uh, you know, 
feature which is enabled which is called as multi-factor authentication so just to summarize to secure your system before providing the access you are allowing the multi-factors authentication which means you don't have just one way to authenticate which is your plain password but you have another things like your uh, facial recognition your fingerprint or your knowledge based authentication like your date of birth or something which you know only about yourself your location from which you are particularly logging in your phone pin like uh, yeah the additional feature something you have possession of so like your physical key or something the time factor wherein you can logging in log in to again the access in a particular window so these are the other factors i hope you like it uh, so be secure out there let's beat the hack hackers let's beat the bad guys and if you like this video just press like and hit share button share with your friends to make them more secure and subscribe my channel bye